Joanna Greek, Ioana Gine Chusa or Ioana is a woman mentioned in the Gospels who was healed by Jesus and later supported him and his disciples in their travels. One of the women recorded in the Gospel of Luke is accompanying Jesus and the Twelve and a witness to Jesus' resurrection. She was the wife of Chusa, who managed the household of Herod Antipas, the king of Galilee. Her name means, Yahweh has been gracious, a variation of the name, Anna, which means, grace, or favor. She is recognized as a saint in the Anglican, Eastern Orthodox, and Roman Catholic traditions. <inaudible> Joanna as one of Luke's witnesses <inaudible> Joanna is shown as the wife of Chusa, steward to Herod Antipas while being listed as one of the women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities, who accompanied Jesus and the apostles, and provided for him from their substance," in Luke chapter 8 verses 2-3. Theologian Adrian Hastings suggested that she could have been one of Luke's sources for information regarding the Herodian court. As the wife of an important court official, she would have had sufficient means needed to travel and contribute to the support of Jesus and the disciples. Joanna is named among the women mentioned in Luke chapter 24 verse 10, who, along with Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, took spices to Jesus tomb and found the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. The accounts in the other synoptic gospels do not mention Joanna as one of the group of women who observe Jesus' burial and testify to his resurrection. Merbearer <inaudible> 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 In Orthodox tradition, she is honored as Saint Joanna the Merbearer Greek Agia Ioana Ada Meriphoros, and is commemorated among the eight women who carried myrrh on the Sunday of the Merbearers, two Sundays after Pascha Orthodox Easter. From this commemoration, in the revised calendar of saints of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod she is commemorated as one of Merbearers on August 3 together with Mary, the mother of James the Less and Jude and Salome. Although not mentioned by name, Joanna is most likely counted as one of the women who joined the disciples and Mary, the mother of the Lord, in the upper room in prayer. She was among the group of 120 who chose Matthias to fill the vacancy that was left by Judas, as well as being present on the day of Pentecost. Topic. Identification with Junia Topic. Both Richard J. Bockham and Ben Witherington III conclude that the disciple Joanna is the same woman as the Christian Junia mentioned by Paul in his Epistle to the Romans, Romans chapter 16 verse 7. Most early Greek manuscripts list the name Junia as feminine, with the consensus of New Testament scholarship agreeing that Junia was a woman. While this is possible, in Romans chapter 16 verse 7 Junia is mentioned along with Andronicus so they may be a husband and wife team like Priscilla and Aquila. If that is the case, it would be unlikely that Junia is another name for Joanna since Joanna's husband, according to Luke chapter 8 verse 3, was Chusa. Topic. Joanna granddaughter of Theophilus Topic. An ossuary has been discovered bearing the inscription, Johanna, granddaughter of Theophilus, the high priest. In popular culture In the 2015 television miniseries Killing Jesus Rotom Zisman Cohen plays Johanna. In the 2015 television miniseries A.D. The Bible continues, Joanna is portrayed by Farzana Dua Ella. See also Merbearers Women in the Bible Notes Further reading Topic. Lockyer, Herbert. All the Women of the Bible Topic. References Topic. Bachham, Richard J., Gospel Women, Grand Rapids, Mish, Eerdmans, 2002, pp. 109-202. 
Witherington, Ben. 3. Joanna, Apostle of the Lord or Jailbait? Bible Review, Spring 2005, pp. 12 14. Topic. External links Topic. Character study of Joanna Icon of Saint. Joanna the Myrrh Bearer